Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 15th of February to March 15th. This is going to be a, a mid-month February uh, reading moving into March. So I'm going to start off your reading with an oracle card to see what energy is coming in for you. I will be looking at past, present, and future. I will be clarifying the cards and pulling some advice. And if the reading does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. What's your important message for mid-February? Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Woo, this is a big one. Big message for you uh, moving in mid-February into March. Okay. You got self-love self-love number 41 is a very strong uh, number for you i recommend you looking it up online to see what the spiritual message means for you self-love okay is your message from now until mid-march uh so yeah we're gonna get some more information on this for you we'll see what your reading has to say about this for scorpio interesting because on this self-love card Scorpio you have the sun and you have the moon and you have a heart in between and some raindrops very interesting okay so past energy Your challenge for mid-February to mid-March is the death card, okay? What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords or the Prince of Swords in this deck. Prince of Swords, okay. All right, very, very interesting energy. All right, so <clears throat> Scorpio, your challenge for mid-February moving into mid-March is the death card here and you have the card of self-love so this is really calling you okay this is a very important message that something here in your life is transforming it's changing it may seem a little painful it may seem emotional it may seem very heavy I'm really getting I'm really getting this uh, freeing energy as well, too. Even though it is a, an energy of healing, I'm getting an energy of, of freeing, okay? There's something here that's ending. But during this process of whatever is happening in your life that is ending, it is calling you to focus on self-love. Self-love is the most important thing that you should be focusing on is what this is telling me here okay so something is changing transforming maybe ending for some of you it is a painful situation possibly i'm going to clarify this and see what this is all about okay so in the recent past you have the high priestess you have the five of cups and you have the six of wands wow okay intuitively um in the past some of you were dealing with the pisces here in the past okay pisces I'm getting fire sign leo sagittarius aries there's a lot of sadness here okay from the past because there's something here that didn't work out in the past there was some sort of um disconnection that happened between you and a specific person i feel like this is led you into this place of kind of isolation in the past really trying to understand why things didn't work out in this particular connection it was a connection that you were very much in love with someone here and you really thought that at some point there was going to be a victory here you thought things were going to um things were going to happen you were going to be set free being in this connection but it didn't happen that way your intuition was trying to tell you something here in the past so we'll clarify this uh, in the present moment, Scorpio, you have the Ace of Swords, the Prince of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. So a lot of you want clarity about this connection. 
A lot of you want clarity because even though there may be an ending on the horizon between now and mid-March for you, a major transformation that may change your life forever, this still has this strong energy here of you wanting to give love to this person. But at the same time, I feel like this person is dealing with so many other things. They're dealing with so many other issues in their life that maybe they're not paying attention to you or maybe you feel very disconnected from this person in the present moment. In the near future, you have the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Wow. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Prince, uh, the Prince of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Wands here. For many of you, you know, I'm going to keep it real in the reading. For many of you, you're choosing to possibly disconnect from this altogether because it's been so tumultuous. It's been very on and off. There's been a lot of sadness here. There's been a lot of pain. And for many of you, there's going to be this regrouping that happens in the near future where you possibly start to recognize how much you need to grow within yourself emotionally. The King of Cups here, okay, this is your energy you're it's funny because you're there with one cup in your hand and then another cups like this you know if you look at this this card i'm gonna zoom in for you here okay this person which has two cups is holding one cup but the, the one cup that they're holding on this side is not really in their hand and they look sad okay and there's a snake there's like a snake here at the bottom that's kind of tying them so for many of you you're dealing with a situation in your life where you're kind of you feel tied to something in the near future and you want to release yourself this is what you're feeling possibly in the near future that you want to release yourself with the eight of cups okay so let's do some clarification and let's see what's going on for you going to clarify the death card which is your challenge between now and mid-march Death is clarified by the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. For many of you, you're choosing to disconnect from somebody who is not, uh, either you're not passionate about this person, it's been too much of a responsibility to be with this person, it's been, there's just been too many things that you've been obligated or required to do in this connection. And for many of you, you're starting to feel like this person is withdrawing from you. There's a strong energy here of this person withdrawing from you because they're not completely able to maybe give you the attention or love that you seek. And it's it has actually created a big burden for many of you. And this is why a lot of you have given up a lot of yourself to this person and you've forgotten about your own self. This is why you have self-love here. It's become too much of a burden for you, okay? So this is your challenge to let something go that you know is not fruitful for you anymore, Scorpio. Let's clarify the past. I'm going to clarify the five of cups here. There was a very sad situation that happened in the past between you and this person. It caused a lot of sadness here in the past. Five of cups is clarified by the ace of swords, the two of pentacles and the fool. Okay, so in the past, there was supposed to be a, a brand new beginning between you and this person, the fool, and you wanted clarity on this because even though in that moment in the past, you know, you looked at it and you said, oh, wow, this connection, okay, some things have happened between, you know, my person and I, but I still believe that there is a possibility that we could still have this connection. The two of cups is here in the back. Okay, so there was this feeling here that you and this person uh, were very much connected. The two of pentacles here is like an infinity sign. These are the two souls uh, bonded together. So you really felt connected to this person. This is why it created a lot of sadness for you in the past to even think about letting this person go. Because I think in the past there was this... Uh, you know, feeling of, okay, well, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I do need to disconnect from this person. Okay. Your intuition was trying to tell you something about this connection in the past, Scorpio. 
Let me clarify the Six of Wands. Wow, okay. So the Six of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Four of Wands. You see, you were very consistent here in the past with this person. You endured, you held on to this, okay? Because the end result would have been victory, Six of Wands in the past. This is what you believed. This is what you thought. Intuitively, your intuition may have been telling you this. Think you were supposed to work things out with this person in the past. Let's clarify the High Priestess. Wow. Okay. So the high priestess is clarified by the five of pentacles, the king of wands, and the strength. Your intuition was trying to tell you about this connection in the past. That it might be best for you just to abandon it altogether. With this fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Very strong here. Could have been a Leo, Pisces you were dealing with in the past. Okay, so your intuition was trying to warn you about this, but for many of you in your mind, you believed that by giving this person love, showering them with love, unconditional love, mind you, because the King of Cups is unconditional. It's like, here, I have love. I have emotions to give to you. I'm just going to give, 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 give. But then it comes to a point where your intuition was trying to tell you something about this. So why didn't you listen to your intuition, right? It's because your love for this person was so strong here in the past, King of Cups, that regardless of any, you know, issue in the connection, you overlooked that in the past. So in the present moment, Scorpio, we have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is all about clarity, okay? Wanting the truth, cutting through the fog. And right now it is very foggy because we are in Mercury retrograde. We're going to be moving out of Mercury retrograde at the end of February. So there's something here that you want clarity on, okay, about this connection. Whether or not you should continue to pursue this person, give your love to this person. I feel in the present moment your love is dwindling for this person. It's not as, as, as grandiose as it may have been in the past. In the past it was very you were very loving in the past but in the present moment you're you're withdrawing from this person let's clarify the ace of swords the ace of swords is clarified by the emperor the two of cups and the justice mm -hmm. you want clarity you want to know a couple of things you know in the present moment are we going to work things out is there going to be stability between me and this person? That's what I need to know, Monica, because I don't want to waste my time anymore. A lot of you are in this place right now where you want to know if it's even worth the energy. I do see you and this person working things out. Okay, I do see things coming back into balance between you and this person. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands. I'm getting strong Libra energy, Aries, Leo here. For some of you, Sagittarius, tell me about the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Star, the Knight of Swords, and the Tower. There's a real um, awakening that's happening in the present moment. And this awakening has a lot to do with your future. Do you see this person in your future? Do you see yourself cutting this person out? Because there is something unexpected that's happening here in the present moment between you and this person, Tower. I feel like a lot of people want this person's attention. A lot of people are nitpicking at this person. And for some reason, you are like the last person that they co come to. You're the last per. you know, like it, it's just a real strong energy of, you know, is this the one? Is this the one? Let me clarify the Princess of Cups. Is this the one? <clears throat> That's what I'm hearing. Is this the one in my head? Okay. 
So the Prince of Cups, your energy is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Another thing also I'm getting here is for many of you, you want to see this person come towards you. You want to see this person make an effort towards you. For many times, this person, it's like you have to constantly get their attention. And again, like I said, you've been thinking about this. Is this the one? This is the energy of, is this the one? Seven of Pentacles. You see how this person is watering the uh, tree that they've invested so much time and energy in? You've invested so much time and energy into this person. So to see yourself cutting it off like that is not something that you want to do. So you're trying to figure out in all ways, shape, and form, in every capacity, if it's worth you continuously investing your time and energy because you've already kind of reached this point, Ten of Pentacles, where you've done so much. You've given so much, but it's like you're in this energy in the present moment where you're like, uh, I don't know if I can even give any more to this. So in the near future, I'm going to clarify the eight of cups. Okay, eight of cups. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Hangman, and the Ace of Cups. Yep. See? Here's, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Okay? I see it already. I don't even have to clarify it anymore. A lot of you are going to have a new person coming in. Okay? Either you're dealing with a new person now or you're interested in a new person. And I still see you keeping your option open but also still being um, open to this person from the past. There's something about this person needing to get it together and they haven't quite gotten it together. And in the near future, I see you restoring yourself. There's something about you restoring yourself because in the present moment, you feel very depleted emotionally. You've given so much and you haven't gotten anything back. So the message here for you is to really focus on yourself from now until the end of um, February, moving into March, because there's a new love coming in. There's somebody here that is going to come in and want to have a new beginning with you they're going to want to move into a new direction with you uh, and I feel like this is going to happen Scorpio once you enter into the land of self-love which is a lot what a lot of you are going to be doing but I also see there's a closed off energy here so some of you are still possibly closed off to new love because you're hoping that the person that you originally were in love with smartens up and gets their act together let me clarify the two of swords So the Two of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Prince of Princess of Cups. There you are, Princess of Cups. There's this energy here in the near future of you closing yourself off to love because of the past experiences that you've had. And there's a healing that's going to be taking place for many of you, okay, in the near future. So I'm really getting that for many of you, it is a sad situation having to end things with this person and close things out with them, but there's really nothing that you can do, okay? You can't force this person to do anything. All you could do, Scorpio, is focus on self-love, okay? Loving yourself, taking care of yourself. And I eventually see you not worrying about this situation and completely actually giving up on it, 100% for some of you, okay? Because it's just not giving you what you need. So I'm giving you what you need, you know, so why remain in a situation if it's not giving you what you need? I'm going to keep it real, right? So let's, um, let's get some advice for you. Pretty intense reading this week for you, or actually this coming month. What is the advice for Scorpio? Wow. Powerful message. Uh, you have the temperance. Some of you are dealing with Sag. That's what I mentioned here. Uh, Nine of cups and you have the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay. So your advice here is, is that the, the, this lesson, okay, there was a big lesson here between you and a specific person you're inquiring about. The big lesson here was to love yourself. Nine of cups. Nine of Cups is, is I love myself card. Okay. In order for you to be in love, 
and to be loved and vice versa. You really have to focus on yourself, loving yourself, caring for yourself, and really allowing time to pass. Okay, there's something about time here. Divine timing is at play here in your life. So during this time of this transformation, it's going to be super important that you are focused on loving yourself, not being guilty about a situation that was out of your control, and also possibly be open to self-love in order to actually attract this energy, which is the lovers. Some of you are going to be entering into a divine connection, possibly with a new love here. And when you least expect it, when you start to focus on yourself, that's when this shows up. That's what it's saying. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. A bit of an intense reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. But for those of you who really need it, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.